We're going to try and create a prisoner moak, um, which came out in 1967, by taking a dinky army moak um, and rebuilding it with the right parts to try and make it look like the, what a prisoner moak should look like. Next model up, we've got this uh, mini moak, and this is like the normal army version, but we're going to do a little bit special with this, um, and instead of just doing the moak, we're going to go for the prisoner version. Um, so for that, we've got the mini. Oops, we've got the mini moke uh, white canopy, white spare wheel, and of course the transfers. I think this is a vinyl, and um, we've got some stickers for the front, and we've got a spare wheel, spare tire to replace the one that's missing, um, and we've also got a screen. Can't really see it because it's clear and then the other important thing is on the prisoner moak they had an aerial so I've got one of these little packs of replacement aerials so I'm going to take the short one um, and probably drill a hole uh, to mount that on the wing that's that right so we've got the uh, box of bits here for the moak um, and we're going to take this apart um, to be able to sort of strip it of paint. Now, the thing is, underneath the bonnet, there seems to be like a rivet um, that holds the bonnet onto the dash. So I'm gonna try and take that out with this, uh, it's basically like a spot cutter. It's a flat-ended drill with a slight pip on it. And hopefully, Now, the uh, windscreen has got some tabs in there that we can get now and get the screwdriver into, which will try and hopefully free up the windshield. So we get the screwdriver into that little slot and give it a bit of a twist. Just open up that one. Open up that side. And that, that should pull out, he said. And there you go, that comes now, comes out. So, it looks like we've got some tab left, so we might be lucky and get away with being able to fit that back in. That's now ready once the tires are off. That be ready for stripping. So we've got the moak um, that's been in stripper for a while. I think we need to get the uh, axles off of this so that we can get the a wire brush in there. But uh, it's looking good. One of the other things we've got to remember, of course, is the bonnet. So tucked down in this tank somewhere. A little piece of bonnet so yeah so that's that's completely come off so that's nice and clean and that'll be ready for painting so with the moak I'm going to use a white primer for this because we're going to cover it in a white gloss so I'm also doing the bonnet at the same time Cover it up to stop anything getting on top of it. I'm going to use this Dremel grinder uh, to basically just cut through these axles uh, because it's too difficult to take the ends off. And due to the nature of the casting, you can't get a hacksaw in. <laughs>
and off they come. A quick coat of clear lacquer to give it a bit of a shine. We're going to fit this aerial to the wing, um, slightly offset to clear the tyre. Um, I'm going to put a small mark in it there where we've done a centre punch. And then going to take a small drill and drill right through the wing. I'm using these easy axles to fit the wheels back onto the moke um, and a bit of super glue into the end first and then one of the pins goes in like so. That slides onto the shaft. slides into there bit of the super glue goes in again Wheel goes on and then the pin goes in. The windscreen surround is pretty bent, um, so I'm going to try and just straighten that out on this little anvil. I'm going to glue the uh, bonnet back on to the sort of uh, steering mechanism and hopefully just a bit of super glue is going to hold this on. We're going to put uh, some transfers on this and in, in this case they're actually like uh, vinyl. So first one to do is the bonnet. I'm going to just peel that off the sheet. And that's placed centrally onto the bonnet like that. The next one is the uh, canopy and we're going to peel that off the sheet and line it up.
So that's the canopy. Then there are some taxi signs and these are water slides. So we're going to do the same thing with some decal, decal fix and apply that to the back. We're going to put the wheels back on, or the tyres back on the wheels. I'm going to take the uh, windscreen here and dip it in some of the polish. Let it drain. So let, just let it drain so that we don't get any of the drops. I'm going to try and put this together now, which is a question of putting the screen behind the frame, threading it through the bonnet, and then into the chassis. and the wings. A small bit of super glue to fit the aerial into the wing and just secure it. Lastly, you're going to add the steering wheel. And the canopy. Well all in all it didn't come out too bad, it definitely looks like a Prisoner Moke version um, and if you like this video and you like to see others then please subscribe and thanks for watching.